Most people don't know anything about this, the people who work in this building. They think it's cool to stand in there, but only when you've taken the tour do you realize the significance of this tour. A lot of people walk out saying, no, I've got to, I've got to do it again, it's too overwhelming. You know, which is, which is really understandable. This is the most incredible thing I've ever been involved with, is this hermetic code tour, without a doubt. Nothing comes close to this. My name is Don Finkbeiner. Actually, Frank Elbow, he walked into our office and I said, oh, Frank Elbow, how are you? I'd never met him before. I said, your book is remarkable. And he said, well, I'll have to give you a tour. I sat him down right over here at the Pool of the Black Star, and I said, this is the most incredible story I've ever heard. And I've been on every single one of his tours throughout the years, and he's always the same. Who would have dedicated 10 years of their life to find this? Who would have taken graduate degrees in University of Winnipeg, University of Toronto, University of Amsterdam, and gone for a PhD in Cambridge, England to get into the mind of a dead architect? Who would have taken three years of biblical Hebrew to understand this building? Nobody would have done that without Frank. This story isn't told. My name is Dr. Frank Albo. This building absorbed my complete attention. I've had uh, senators storm out saying, you've turned this building into a house of pagan sacrifice. With the same level of fervor had uh, church groups in the United States praying for my soul, not being subsumed by the Illuminati. There's the, the image of Medusa, there's the sphinxes on the roof, but you, you, putting it all together, who else could have done this? I'm t no other human being could have done this, in my opinion. The building is a beautiful building in the first place, but the Hermetic Code grows it to another level totally. Everything in this building has meaning. According to the architect's own words, he said, nothing is placed by ornament. It's all done according to the will of my designs. And so what took me 10 years to realize is, what did he mean by that? Was he just being fluffy or is everything in this building endowed with meaning?